Oh no, SRT is gone forever. That's it, they killed it. It's disbanded, no more. Oh my God. Yo, what up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod the Fame. And that's what we talking about in today's video. Let's jump into it, let's go. little context for today's video guys just a little context on why i feel like i can speak on this matter this is my chrysler 300c aka the stemmy hemi and that is my dodge challenger hellcat srt of course manual transmission now twin turboed these are my two hemi cars and girls the real camera died so like i was saying guys for i was so rudely interrupted by my camera dying i feel like i have the right to speak on these things because i own these vehicles the most important car that we're going to talk about today in relation to the story of srt is this car right here this car is the most important not the hellcat the hellcat is a result of this car why is that steph well because this car is the first ever to have the platform that that car and all these cars ride on. The platform meaning the architecture, meaning the frame, where the engine is placed, where all the safety points are, the reason why the headlights are at the height that they're at, all of it is based on the platform that was developed in 2002 by Daimler in which they used for their E-Class Mercedes, which came out in 2003. Because of that partnership, Mercedes then used that platform for other vehicles to follow, SUV platforms and everything came based on the W211 Mercedes. Fast forward to a couple years later with the Daimler Chrysler partnership, this car was a direct result of that W211 chassis. That 2003 Mercedes E-Class is what this car pretty much rides on. Now, there were some changes obviously to make it a Chrysler uh, to the platform, but very slight. If you notice, a lot of this car is traditional older Mercedes down to, I was looking at it the other day, the cruise control and turn signal stalks. Look at those that is directly out of a mercedes down to a lot of the the way that this car feels drives all of that is traditional mercedes however what chrysler got out of the deal was the lx platform which is what this car currently was developed and everything off of that lx platform was the beginnings of the turnaround of dodge mopar period this platform will go on this car is a 2006 it was it came out in 05 so it was developed mostly 03 04 with that partnership but let's take 05 this car what is that 16 years later would become these cars not quite 16 years because that car came out in 15 but you get the point my point is this is the granddaddy of them all this is what started it in 06 then dropped the charger which is a year after this car and then in 08 they brought back the challenger which rides on that same exact platform so therefore just a little historical context but it's important that you remember how dodge uses these developments they spent a lot developing in that partnership and from that partnership they were able to get what is probably going to be a 20-year run out of this same platform all right so now let's talk about srt pause the video real quick real quick a lot of you claim to be mod defamers a lot of you claim to be mod defame but ask yourself do you own a standard Come on, bro. This is the basics of basics, bro. It is also the least expensive item on the website. The Mod to Fame standard t-shirt, man. You got to get that. $20 from $20 to $21. 
We got all the way up to the 3X, I think 4X for the big boys too. You know, this is the basic, the standard. Hit modafame.com right now to grab that or grab you a nice little camo beanie. Or we took the foot off the gas of the mood, but we got about 25 left. That's right, 75 down so far. We got about 25 of these left. Make sure you hit up modafame.com to get your limited edition of that mood. You feel me? You guys have all seen the news lately. You saw when they were talking about that the Stellantis Group, which is n now took over FCA, is disbanding or not disbanding, but breaking up SRT. And the plan is to take those people, those brilliant minds that made this possible because SRT is not the LX platform. SRT is taking this platform and able to make it this right that's how you take a platform that is this old and turn it into a 707 horsepower monster which then ultimately becomes an 840 horsepower demon and 797 horsepower current day red eyes which all come from this car so the brilliant minds was able to take this and turn it into this now what that did for dodge is it actually really dodge chrysler jeep what it did for those vehicles, it made it a serious competitor. The street racing technology, SRT, is really implemented and shown when you actually drive these cars. They're quite incredible for what they are. Despite their weight, despite the older technology that they ride on, they do amazingly well. They are extremely fun to drive. So what Dodge is able to do now is grab a huge market share. This year, the Challenger outsold the Camaro and the Mustang went down in sales and the Challenger actually increased in sales. That doesn't, that's not something you really see too much of in vehicles. Everything right now is SUVs, right? With grabbing so much market share, you know, the world takes notice with brands that are just innately desirable. These cars are extremely desirable, so much so that's why they're one of the most stolen vehicles in the country because they are so desirable another reason is because the parts are so interchangeable literally when i had the chrysler on the lift i can look and see suspension placement knuckles all that kind of stuff although they're not the same the placement is the same so literally i can take every bits and bit and piece from this car and mount it to this car right because it's so close so therefore I say all of that to say, what company wouldn't want that? Like, what company wouldn't want the brilliant minds that was able to do this, you know, starting out with the basis of that? Like, who wouldn't want that? So, of course, the Stellantis Group want what Dodge Mopar has. And what Mopar has in abundance is cool. They have cool. They own cool. It's cool to have any model from an I mean, there are SXTs that you can still look cool in. V6s, it don't matter. Cool is cool. They're cool cars and people want cool. So now what Stellantis wants to do is take those minds and apply it to the whole portfolio of brands that they own. So yeah, they're going to sprinkle a little here. They're going to sprinkle a little there. And hopefully what they can do is take some of that cool, that technology, that, that performance and add it to the rest of their brands so what does that mean steph that means srt is no more they're gonna stop selling these cars hell no did you not just hear me when i started out this video explaining to you guys that this particular car this one is an 06 that means this car is 15 years old and it came out in 05 so this technology is 16 years old and a lot of it is in this car right here did y'all not hear me say that did i not make myself clear what that means is SRT is not going to be developing anymore from the ground up on these type of cars. And what does these type of cars mean? This Hemi engine, this Hemi architecture that was able to be developed to this, SRT is no longer going to be developing. This is the last of these big V8s that we know and love. This is the last of this time, guys. We are never gonna see this era 
again. This is it. So what they're going to do is in the year 2025, they're going to be announcing that they're going to stop production on these big supercharged Hellcat V8s, probably 2025 to 2026, somewhere around there. What that do, what that does is gives them from 2015 with the Hellcat up to 2025. That gives them 10 years to recoup their investment into developing the supercharged setup that is on the Hellcats. It gets them that money back is what they have to focus on doing. So you guys have at least another four to five years to still buy a brand new Hellcat, whether that's a Jeep SRT Hellcat, whether that is a Ram Hellcat, a Challenger Hellcat, Charger Hellcat. Challengers may stop though sooner than that. Challengers may go away within the next two years. This car may go away within the next two years unless it continues to go upwards in sales, then they ain't stopping. They're going to keep collecting that money. Dodge is going to basically beat this horse until it is dead. So don't worry, guys. You'll still be able to buy a new Hellcat. That being said, maybe in the year 2025, that's the year to buy any inventory that is left of these type of cars because ultimately they're going to be worth a lot of money when you can't get them anymore when you can no longer get your hands on one of these cars they're going to be worth a lot of money so if you have one with super low mileage and you have no intentions to sell it well hold on to it keep it because for your children they're going to have something some bit of a maybe even a college fund or something like that in this car because i'm telling you electric is the future these companies are committed especially Stellantis. Stellantis. Stellantis Group has a huge focus on electric vehicles. Chrysler had none, which is why Mopar had none, which is why it is so important that they move toward this technology because they need to be competitive in the space, right? This old technology is not going to carry them 10 years from now. It's going to be like the same old cars. So therefore, that's going to be the focus, electric vehicles, and they're going to apply this srt cool and i keep saying cool but what i'm really saying is that encompasses everything cool encompasses yes cool kid in school but more so it encompasses what new technologies can be developed that separates you from everybody else and that's going to be the future of srt guys do yourselves a favor right now you've watched this video you got great information but what I didn't tell a lot of you who may be new to the channel, maybe this is your first time seeing a video from me, this Demi Hemi, I call it that, it's a car that you can win. Right now, if you go to montafame.com, you can actually enter to register to win this car completely for free. You don't have to buy anything, you don't have to do anything else, just register to win the car by leaving your name, email, and cell phone number, and make sure to opt in for text messages. It makes it easy for us to notify whoever the winner is. Please make sure you also are subscribed to the channel and that you follow Mod to Fame on Instagram, as well as our partners, Auto Tempest. Auto Tempest is where you can go to find that Hellcat, that last of the Hellcats that they're going to make, or anything with a Hellcat engine, or anything SRT, Scat Pack, whatever, you can go to autotempest.com right now and what they do is instead of you having to go to multiple sites to look at different inventories it aggregates it and pulls them all into one all the major search sites all the cars in one place make sure to visit modtofame.com right now enter to win and if you're there you don't have to buy anything but if you want to we have everything on there from just cool ass merch to decals like you see on the front of my hellcat anyway i appreciate you guys watching Thanks for stopping by for another one. It's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Excuse the dirty hands. I was working on the car. <laughs> but until the next one, it's your boy Stefan here. And we out. We out.